We're going to protect your public lands and fight against the liberals that are trying to grab your guns. We've all seen the problems with big government. Politicians representing themselves and not us. Intoxicated with privilege and power. They start worrying about the next election instead of the next generation. And by the way, you obstruct these justices, you're going to lose your Second Amendment. You're going to lose your right to those guns. You're going to lose your Second Amendment. So be careful. Be careful. Be careful. One thing, their policies are horrible. They're for open borders, meaning let all the crime come in. They're against so many things that you want. You know, I've been saying, and I've been saying it strongly, they're going to take away, they're going to hurt your Social Security so badly, and they're killing you on Medicare. Just remember that. I'm going to protect your Social Security. We're going to take care of your Social Security. Matt Rosendale is going to make sure we're not touching your Social Security and your Medicare is only going one way that's stronger. They're going to end up taking it away from you and you won't even know what happened. And on top of that, you're going to pay more tax. It's crazy. John Tester will never drain the swamp because he happens to live in the swamp and he loves the swamp. John Tester He's controlled by his donors. One of the saddest things is that I've seen. But Ronnie Jackson, he's a doctor. He's an admiral. He's actually the doctor that gave me my physical. And he said that I'm in great shape. And the Democrats and liberals and deep state, they were very upset to hear that. In the last election, Washington Democrats put John Tester in charge of electing extreme liberals. I mean, I'm talking about serious liberals, many of whom you're watching attacking Judge Kavanaugh and looking like fools, frankly, looking like fools. And one of them will most likely be a candidate to run against your favorite of all time, President, me, me. Do we love Sean Hannity, by the way? I love him. Donald Trump, he's lost it up here. And then they say, he's lost it. And yet we have 25,000 people showing up to speeches. And, and by the way, Look at all the fake news back there. <laughs> Donald Trump's lost it. And I respectfully say, I beat the Bush dynasty. Okay. That's over. Pretty recently. It's hard and harder to win. Then popular vote. Popular vote, you go to three, four states, and boom, 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 you win the fight. It's like the hundred-yard dash versus running the mile. You practice differently. She forgot that. She forgot to go to a couple of very important states. Gee, I don't think I'm going to go to Michigan too much. I do hear her husband said, you know, you better go to Michigan. You better start going to Wisconsin. Well, fortunately, she didn't listen to that. I beat Hillary, who stole it from Bernie. Bernie should have won, but that's okay. They stole it. Superdelegates. How do you like superdelegates? But she's got super. I saw him the other day on television. And he's ranting and raving. He's sitting behind a microphone. I'm going to do this. I'm going to that. Bomb, bomb, bomb. The hair's flying. He's going crazy. <laughs> he's going crazy. And I said to my wife, honey, look at that guy. You got to hand it to him. No, you got to hand it to him. He doesn't quit. He doesn't give up. I just don't understand why he allowed that to happen. And he goes back into being an independent. But now he's coming back in. And I guess he's going to run. He's going to run. But think of it. So you beat two dynasties. You beat all these politicians. Is he competent? Is he competent? 
and their ratings are down the tubes. More important than those victories, we're winning in the United States now. We're winning on trade. We're winning with our military. We're knocking the hell out of the terrorists. We're winning now in the United States. They respect us now because they couldn't believe. For years, NATO spending was going like this. We got rid of the most unpopular element of Obamacare, right? The individual mandate. We got rid of the individual mandate. And you do, then what you're going to have is you'll have a country that's going to turn in to a third world country. Because if the opposite party becomes president, every time before it even starts, before you've even found out whether or not he or she is going to do a great job, they'll say, we want to impeach him, and you'll impeach him. It's so ridiculous. They'll say, what a job he's done. By the way, we're impeaching him. Today's Democrat Party is held hostage by haters, absolute haters, left-wing haters. And all of them will be out of business. CNN will be out of business. They're almost out of business now if you look at their ratings. They're close out of business. They apologized for their bad coverage of me. They apologized to their subscribers. On the way over here, I saw a liberal pundit. He was filled with anger. They had me stomping around screaming with anger up in my area of the White House, where I live with my wife and son. Our country's thriving, jobs are booming, prosperity is soaring, and the future has never looked brighter for the USA. And the young aide looked at me and he said, Mr. President, and it's driving them crazy. Crazy. They're the ones, honestly, that have been driven crazy. The latest act of resistance is the op-ed published in the failing New York Times by an anonymous, really an anonymous, gutless coward. We've picked up a lot of support because at some point this whole thing is going to be exposed. And humiliation to our country. Look at what happened. Look where, and other countries, by the way, are not doing well at all. And had I not won, we would have been in negative. We wouldn't be at 4.2. We would have been in negative numbers. We were going down. We freed up this country with the regulations and the tax cuts. We freed up our country, and it's great to watch. But if you don't elect Matt, tell me, is raising your taxes like supposed to be a popular thing to do? Because but nobody's ever had, ever, an economy like we have. We, nobody's ever had this economy. So hopefully you're going to remember that. I don't want to tempt them too much by telling you things that don't happen anymore to us, because there's no reason for me to tell you. But when you see some of the things that happened four years ago and six years ago and eight years ago, you take a look at what happened and you take a look at what happens now, where we took that horrible Iran deal and we terminated it, and you look at what's going on. We're respected again as a nation. But these people enrich themselves while shipping our jobs to other countries, and they oversaw the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of the world. It's true. We're draining the swamp, and the swamp is fighting back. But don't worry, we will win. We will win. We always win. We always will. This cutting your taxes in a major, major way, biggest tax cut in the history of our country. And in addition to that, we got.